All right, guys, welcome to Miller Family Vlogging. Guys, I'm not sure when we post this is this will be our first official vlogging video or like our second or third, but this is our new channel. Um, we've had a lot of people uh, requesting how to make some of our piggy heads. So I'm going to show you um, Marcus, which I believe is Piggy Book 2, Chapter 9, The Docks. That's our next video we want to do. Uh, Marcus is a moose. I'll show you a picture of him right this is what I always kind of go off of. I just pull up an image on my computer. So you can see he's got the round head, the round nose, the antlers, the hat. So we got to figure out how to make all those. I usually start out with making a ball with plaster. It was like a bouncy ball that I can inflate and deflate so I can reuse it. Most of my piggy heads, I start off with this kind of a base. All right, all right guys, usually I cut this hole first, this big hole. That's where we're going to be fitting your head up into there. So you can get your head up into this ball. And then I usually we'll figure out where I want this big circle, which is where you're gonna be looking out of. Usually it's the piggy's nose. Um, in my case, it's the nose. So let's go outside, we'll cut this up. I usually wear a uh, mask because this gets dusty, it's plaster. Um, I have asthma, so I don't wanna really inhale all the dust from cutting this out. So I'll be having, I'll have a mask on, I'll cut this out, we'll take you out, I'll show you how to do that. All right guys, so I got a pretty big hole cut out. You never know who's gonna be wearing this. Um, could be me, could be my husband, could be Miller Dad, he's got a big head, could be the kids, but either way, anybody can fit their head in here. So, pretty easy. Um, so now I'm gonna cut out, see where I had the nose earlier, that's not gonna work, it's too down, down to low. So I'm gonna move the nose up a little bit. And, and you don't need to cut a huge circle, just enough so you can see for your eyes. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright guys, so I cut out the eye area. So you're going to be looking through that. At least I am. Next thing I usually do is I put some Mod Podge inside. Uh, try to keep some of the dust down because I don't really want to be breathing in all the dust when we're wearing these costumes So it's just a way of keeping the dust down um, The top's gonna be covered with either, either paint or fabric. So that's not gonna get dusty after you cover it um, So that's my next step and then I let that dry. Okay guys, so I just finished Mod podging the inside of the head So let, waiting for that to dry. Uh, meanwhile, we need to work on the nose. So here's the nose It's basically a big circle. I just take a balloon or you know styrofoam ball or whatever, and we're gonna plaster this to make a big circle for the nose. Okay guys, next part is we uh, we got the nose finished, put some nostrils in. Mm -hmm. So essentially, oh say hi everybody. Hey! We're making this guy. Marcus. Um, for, do you know which chapter that is for? I, uh, wait, I, I, don't, I don't even remember the last chapter we did. <laughs> like I don't even remember how much chapters we did because it was like so long This ago. is for chapter nine, the Dax. We got, oh, guys it Dax. smells really good in here because we make cupcakes. Yummy. They literally just came out of the oven and they've already ate most of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they only ate, made half of the amount of cupcakes you should make because they ate the rest of the raw dough batter. You're supposed to make 24 cupcakes, you only made 12. No, on the box it said 12. No, 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 go look at the box, it says 24. Where is the box? You guys are piggies, you ate all the raw cookie dough. Get back in. Are you having a cupcake? Yeah. Apparently, we do have frosting. You guys didn't want to put frosting on them? I don't like frosting on my cupcakes or cake, but if there is frosting on it, I'll only have like a little. Alden likes frosting. He loves frosting. So basically, guys, the nose is going to go, you know, like. Right there. Over the cutout. Yep. 
And he has a pretty big nose, as you can see on the video. Mm -hmm. so we it. And then basically the next thing is I went and got fabric. I got like this lighter grayish brown color that I feel like matches pretty well. And she got this scissor. Yeah, I don't thingy. know how to use these. My scissors are getting really dull. And I found these. They're scissor sharpeners. I'm super excited to try those. And then we got the dark brown for we even have the other part. I'm going to try out my scissor sharpeners. Let's see if they work. I don't sew. So I use a lot of Mod Podge. Uh, and hot glue. That's the way we roll. Okay, we're, we're gonna try the scissor sharpeners out. It says you just kinda... Oh, I'm scared. Cut, they say make a cutting motion. Oh look, it, made, it must have worked because there's a little gunk down there. Mom, you're cutting a gun. I'm not cutting a gun. What are you cutting? I'm trying to sharpen my scissors that I spent $30 on. Really, are you gonna go to your birthday party? You're already 20 minutes late. She's got to wait. She's got to wait for her pizza to cool off. She has to take her own food to a lot of birthday parties because she has to eat gluten free because she has celiacs. And it's not even like like they were having subs there, and they said they could order you a gluten free sub, but unfortunately, a lot of sub places contaminate. So she got to take her own food. That's why she make. That's why we make cupcakes so she could take her own gluten free cupcakes. Mom. Mom. And also, we Weston's birthday is in a week. Yeah, well, let's do a vlogging video for Weston's birthday. We're gonna annoy him all weekend long. Yeah, we're gonna prank don't we, him. Don't we do that anyway? Yeah, no, this is gonna be extreme. Like he's I, turning I thirteen, and we are gonna tease him as much as we can. That would be so much fun. We'll do we'll do a video. We'll do a video on our new vlogging channel for that. Okay, guys. So basically, I'm just gonna slap the fabric on the nose. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna slap it. I'm gonna slap you. I use Mod Podge. I put it over the uh, the plaster, so this fabric will stick. And sometimes I'll add some hot glue around the edges just to make sure. And then I don't cut the holes until after I got it on there pretty secure. Uh, can I slap it now? I wasn't being literal slapping. Silly boy. Got to paint it on there. Yeah, just kind of right start in the middle. That's what I like to do. I start on the eyeball. Well, that's his nose, his nostril. <coughs> Colton. All right, we mod podge most of the nose. So watch, guys, we're just gonna. Guys, am I looking at you or not? You are looking at me. All right, here goes. No, I'm not. I'm looking at that. I have to be make sure you stretch that. it out and you got enough material. Here. Dun. All right, Colton's holding the camera for me. So, yeah, we're just going to make sure we got enough. You could, edges. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be recording me. All right, guys, so we're. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. So guys, I just do that until it's you know wrapped all the way around, and then we'll cut our holes. Be back in a few. Right, Colty? Yep. Bye. All right, guys. Nose is done. Nostrils and all. That's so. We'll put that aside. And now we got to work on the fabric for the main head. Same thing with Mod Podge. Just cover his head with the light brown. Hopefully, I have enough material. So just kind of, I kind of do the back half. And then I will cut that, <coughs> turn it, and then I'll do the front half after that. Flat from the Mod Podge on. Don't get it all over your floors because it makes a mess. Okay, I'm gonna take the hot glue inside. Or you could just do it right on the material, either way. I like to do it inside so I don't burn myself. I burn myself a lot. Pull it nice and snug. Get it up in there. And you can see like any creases you have, you can get most of them out. All right guys, so first half done. Turned out pretty good. There's a couple of little creases here and there, but Honestly, nobody will notice them when you're doing your video. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just gotta do that to the other side. Literally, that's half of it. All right, guys, we finished putting the front layer of the yeah. fabric on. Yeah. 
Yeah. The kids are going to the park. You guys gonna go to the park with Daddy? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go on the golf cart? Yeah. 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 Guys, it's gonna be quiet in here. It's just gonna be me. Well, Weston's upstairs, but. Um, and so I gotta cut the hole where the nose is so we can see out of it. This is the fun part, I like this. This is like, just get to get, woo, cut. Yeah. Glue it down so you can see out of it. it. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys, either, cause it's gonna eventually be covered by his big old nose. I just burnt myself, I burnt myself all the time. I literally have like two blisters on my hand right now from burning myself. I need to add the dark fabric on this half of his face. And then we put the nose on and it's coming along, it's coming along. Okay guys, so we got the head, the fabric on there. It's not the best I've ever done. Um, it's a little mess messy up here, but the good thing about that is you can get a little messy up here because he's gonna have his straw hat on and his moose ears and all that. So this is all gonna be covered. And next I'm going to put the nose on. So literally I'm just gonna hot glue that nose right on like that. Okay guys, for the eyes I have like a little template Seems about right. So I'm just gonna use that, trace it onto my black and my yellow. I already got my circles cut out and just gonna glue them. Easy. Do you know what this is, Weston? Huh? Do you know what this is gonna be? Uh, but hey, I'll give you a clue. Oh, it's a moose. Uh, the moose got, I forgot his name. Do you, know, do you know at least what chapter it's from? Nine. What? Marty Moose? No. Is it eight? Sorry, folks. Close, close. close. We did chapter eight last. Nine? Yeah, the ducks. I, I said nine. Oh, I thought, I didn't know what you said. Yes, it's Marcus. Marcus the moose. And I don't know how I'm gonna make his antlers yet. I'm gonna go get a farmer cowboy hat, whatever it is he's wearing in his video. Right there. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the one I use, but at least they'll give me an idea of where I wanna put his ears and his antlers. Okay, so I got a collection of hats, so I've already kind of narrowed it down. This hat I actually use. It looks pretty cool, but it's a little small, I think. And I actually use it, so I really don't wanna use that one. This one I tried, it's a no-go, and it's got Miller Lite logo on it. It's just, it's beat up, so I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. This hat looks really cool on him, but I can't use this hat because this is my Luke Bryan hat, guys. Okay. I got Luke Bryan's signature on this hat, so this is not going anywhere. I want it to be permanent, and I, so yeah, I'm not using my Luke Bryan hat. That's my pride of joy. I did find this hat, it's a little bit bigger, but I never wear it, and I think it'll work. I think once we add his ears and his antlers, it'll start looking, it'll come in together a little bit more, so. Do you like my Marcus piggy? Yeah, but why is he Marcus? Marcus the moose. Marcus the moose? Mm -hmm. But piggies are not mooses. Yeah, this piggy is. That's my Luke Bryan hat. You be careful with that. I got that. Do you know who Luke Bryan is? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Guys, sometimes my kids make my piggies for me. You wanna make my piggy? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is actually foam floorboard. I'm gonna use it for the ears, it's a little thicker. Um, I just happen to have extra in the basin that I don't need, so I wanted something a little thicker to make the ear look a little more dimensional, so. I'm gonna cut out this as, for as one ear, and then we just add the fabric over. It's pretty easy, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, uh, so then we cut out a little pink, light pink foam paper that I am gonna put on the ear. Oh and we have a moose ear. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I glued the hat on because it was just kept falling off and so I glued it where I wanted it. I cut out a slit in the hat and glued the ear down. Okay guys, I think I got the antlers figured out. I just took a couple paper plates and like I showed you right before, I cut the rims of them off, the lips of them off, I turned them inside out, so they kind of have a little bit of a bend to it, I don't know if you can tell. And um, I ended up having to glue a couple together to make it long enough, and then I just cut out the shape I wanted, so I'm gonna paint it. Sometimes I add um, 
masking tape to make it stronger, but in this case, I don't think I need to, and I think it might take away from the paper plate bending in. And so I'm gonna paint it like an off-white color, and then somehow hope it stays with glue. I'm gonna duplicate this, and then I'll show you what to paint it, and then we're gonna put it on them. It's gonna be so good, I'm loving it already, guys. Look, I feel like it turned out really good. I mean, not bad, right? I, let's go try it on Miller Dad. He's outside. Let's go see what the heck the boys are doing with Miller Dad. Oh, what the heck? Miller Dad. Yeah, try on Marcus. Move so I can show our audience or subscribers. Let me do that right out here. Yes. And then I want you to run around the neighborhood like and make a moose noise. What does a moose sound like? Yeah, okay, so you have to walk around the neighborhood going Comment down below if you want Miller Dad to walk around the neighborhood going Oh yes, it looks like a moose. It's for sure. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about Marcus the Moose? I'm good. I'm I got boogers. <laughs> boogers. Okay guys, that's how we made uh, Marcus the Moose. And we're gonna try to get that done in the next couple of weeks. Uh, chapter nine, uh, Doc's Piggy Real Life Book Two. So it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited about that one. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>